Oh, what is up, Crazy X? Uh, let's see, yesterday, <laughs> doing yesterday's update. Um, trying to think, ship out? I know when I bought a new tote, uh, I'm going to try to really focus on gutting out my room so I can <laughs> use that more as an office instead of like a supply room that it's kind of been right now with all this stuff that hasn't been listed for inventory. So I'd really be busting on that because the room that's my office has a little bit of a leak. <laughs> Water, computers don't mix too well. So, hey, help me out. Buy some stuff. <laughs> Just, just kidding, but not kidding. You know, definitely uh, do check out the inventory. Um, inventory's in the dry room. <laughs> it's not not in the leaking room. Um, but yeah, more I sell, more I clean out. Um, but uh, as I said also too, some of the stuff in this room is stuff that's not even listed yet. So that's my main focus is getting that stuff listed so it is available to purchase. Um, just got done shipping out uh, the Sugar Smack Bowl. Uh, if you guys remember the Sugar Smack Frog, uh, it's like a Kellogg cereal. Uh, they had a bowl, so I shipped that out. Um, so we had a couple stops yesterday. I don't know. I did watch the new. I, I've seen it's like, oh yeah, this is available. I've yet to check it out. So I did watch the first episode of season two of Saved by the Bell, the reboot. And I don't know. Um, I did like parts of it, but I think. Other parts were kind of rushed and didn't really hit the mark they could have hit. Uh, of course, this season, they were talking about how COVID had hit and the school's just now reopening. It was, like, closed last year. So, like, they're now, like, juniors. And uh, one of the... Um, they were talking about, like, he's struggling with, uh, with COVID and how some people need counseling and Mario's like, oh no, I just work out my feelings. I just lift weights and do push-ups. So uh, at the end, it kind of hits somewhere. He kind of realizes that, you know, maybe I do need to talk to someone. Um, they also showed Zach Morris. Zach Morris is no longer the governor. And they said that, uh, yeah, it's a popularity contest. And that, and they, they had made mention of the new governor, Prince Harry. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Governor Prince Harry. Not Governor Harry. He's still Governor Prince Harry. <laughs> um, but at the at the end of the episode, I know a little bit of a spoiler, but not. Um, the gang kind of all gets back together. So earlier in the episode, we see Zach Morris dropping off Mac Morris' son. Slater is uh, working the parking lot, kind of getting cars to move. Uh, and for the most part, Mario... Lopez, A.C. Slater, and uh, Elizabeth Berkeley, Jesse Spano are main reoccurring characters. Zach was a governor. Uh, his son is Mac Morris. Um, and like I said, he showed up in the beginning of the episode. So at the Max, there's Kelly, too. Well, it makes sense, you know, because Kelly and Zach are married. Kelly didn't need to be necessarily introduced. But then all of a sudden, Lisa's there. Well, where did Lisa come from? I, I mean, last we saw, I think in uh, the last season, she had a cameo and she was over in like Paris or something like that. Where did, no explanation, just, oh, well, now Lisa's here. And then they go to the Max and Ed Alonzo, who was the main character there, who the Max character is there. And he's like, you guys will be the first to try my brand new, um, Screech Spaghetti Burger, which Screech Spaghetti, I get it, I get it. <laughs> uh, they had earlier made mention of, you know, how the world's different now and that, you know, it will never be the same and that we've lost some good people um, due to COVID. And uh, in this episode, so they, they kind of talk about Screech and they're sharing memories of Screech. They're referring to Screech in the past tense. Um... They're like, yeah, I can't believe he beat me for uh, Miss Bayside. And like, they're showing old clips uh, from the, the TV show. And then they kind of do to screech and they smash the burgers together. But they never actually make reference to screech being dead. Is he dead? Is he alive? 
you know, is Screech just not able to be there? You know, so I, I, I felt that, you know, I, I don't know. Do you kill him with COVID? Uh, do you just make reference that he has passed on? Um, but I don't know, just to kind of ignore the issue. I, I, I felt it was like, I said, I felt it was rushed because I get, I get it there because you're, you're having a tribute to him. But just to throw Lisa in the mix without explanation of why she's there. Because she wasn't there for the first season. Like, you know, hey, hey, Screech, you know, we're we're all going to get together. Hey, Lisa's in town. We're all going to get together to Max. That would have explained it. You know, uh, Lisa's moved back. Lisa's visiting. Lisa, at least, you know, but Lisa's in town. Let's all go to the Max for old time's sakes. Makes sense. To just do it doesn't. Uh, so... I don't know. I, I, I am kind of like the Saved by the Bell, Bell type purist uh, in a way. So it's like those little things kind of, ah. Uh, of course, the whole, uh, was it, the uh, the leap between Mrs. Good Morning Miss Bliss and uh, Saved by the Bell. You know, because in Good Morning Miss Bliss, Zach's dad is Peter and he's divorced. But in Say by the Bell, his dad's Derek, and he's married to Zach's mom. And then, you know, of course, the, the biggest one, too, of how, you know, stalking much. You know, I mean, Mr. Belding up and leaves Chicago, Illinois, to move to Palestine or whatever, Los Angeles area, you know, to be Zach's principal again. And his best friend moves, as w and Lisa moves too. Uh, you know, that's always kind of been one of those ones too. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of rambling, but I, I, you know, it's it's a different show. I, I do kind of enjoy it. Uh, it's definitely the nostalgia. They kind of see the see the the gang. Um, but yeah, hope you're all having a wonderful day. I've got two more packages I got to ship out. Um, so yeah, we're going to go do that. Have a great day. We'll see you guys back here probably later today. Of course, that'll be tomorrow's video, though.